It was uh, a Friday night, November 2013. Uh, typical Friday night. In fact, I actually dropped him off at his friend's house, which is about three or four blocks from the house. Usually the typical process is around 11 o'clock. You know, we send him a text saying, hey, do you need a ride home? And 11.20, I sent him the text and he's like, no, dad, it's okay. I'll, I'm getting my ride home. So well, that's fine. So um, we went to bed, we woke up and he wasn't there. And then it was, um, it was one of his best friends actually that, uh, that called me and said, there's a train accident. Probably one of the worst, the worst moments of your life when you, when you all stand together and you realize that that Michael's not coming home. The impact, you're not even thinking about the impact. You're just feeling about how empty you feel at that point in time. It was just a regular night. I was actually on patrol in my vehicle and uh, the call came over the radio from our dispatch. And whenever that call comes in, it's gut-wrenching. Your heart drops, um, you, your, your feelings just spike through the roof. Now, unfortunately, because of the nature of the investigation, I had to watch that horrific incident. And it got to me, I'm not gonna lie. It did affect me. It affected me mentally and it affected me emotionally to see Michael lose his life. Afterwards, when you actually sit down and the magnitude of the situation hits you, that's when the emotions really, really get to you. A young kid lost her life. Now, I'm a father of two. They're young, a six-year-old and a three-year-old, but that makes me think of them first. So I have learned from some other kids that I've talked to in the past, it's not uncommon for kids to think that they can just cross that track. You know, lights down, uh, rails down, trains down the road. My understanding from, from the different people that I've talked to is that he actually got his foot caught and he got trapped in that time and, and the train actually hit him. These are things that you don't even have to think about. When there's a red light and when there's a rail uh, gate that's down, you, everybody's done the thinking for you. Just abide by it. Just stop. Stay. Let the train go by. Michael lost his life that night because he made a split-second decision to try to beat the train. And if he just waited that extra second, let the train pass by, he'd still be with us today. 